Al Katarn, the legendary battle master, was considered one of the most powerful Jedi from the New Jedi Order. However, his views on the Force itself differ from how his fellow Jedi viewed the Force. Though Katarn remained a faithful servant to the Jedi Way, according to our records, Cal viewed the Force as just another tool in one's arsenal, sometimes used as a weapon, sometimes used as a salve. According to Katarn, the distinction between either side was insignificant, as in the end, all of these tools and abilities one used were provided by the Force itself as a whole, and one did not have to walk the dark path if one did not choose to walk it. Just for tapping into these reserves did not make these Jedi the monsters that perhaps the old Jedi Order had made them out to be, since the very decisions we made throughout our own lives were the catalyst that dictated the path each being walked, believing that any Jedi could find peace within themselves because of it. This way of viewing the Force would eventually be passed down by Kyle to his own apprentice Jaden Kor throughout the course of his own Jedi training. Jaden Kor, like his master, was a powerful Jedi in his own right, and like Kyle, Kor also had an affinity for the dark side within him, something he struggled with throughout his career as a Jedi Knight. Jaden's discomfort when it came to the dark side come to light in the records of the Star Wars novel Cross Current, found within our Legends archives, in which Jaden experiences a powerful premonition in which he endures firsthand the dark pit that is the dark side. In order to calm his fears, Jaden had relaxed into the Force which allowed him to rely on Kyle's words that had been spoken to him about the Force. The Force is a tool, Jaden. Sometimes a weapon, sometimes a salve. Dark side, light side, these are all distinctions of insignificant difference. Do not fall into the trap of classification. Sentience curses us with a desire to categorize and draw lines, to fear that after this be dragons, but that is an illusion. After this, not dragons, but more knowledge, deeper understanding, be at peace with that. However, Jaden feared that he would not be able to find peace within himself with Kyle's views on the Force, concerned that he never could, given his own experiences with the Force. For you see, the Force had served as Jaden's compass since before he began his training back in 14 ABY, allowing the Force to guide his actions which in turn resulted in the creation of his first lightsaber. Back then, he viewed the Force's insight as something magical, and reducing this to just a mere tool for anyone to use no different than a loaded blaster would mean that he had had been living a complete lie. At least this is how Jaden perceived it. Katarn was a faithful servant of the light side who practically ignored the distinction between both sides, which made him a powerful warrior of the new Jedi Order. However, this did not necessarily mean that others within the Order agreed with his personal views on the Force as an entity, with his own apprentice Jaden Kor falling into this category. Though greatly respected, Kyle's views were not a standing that Jaden fully agreed with given his own experiences through the Force, including the dark side, which made him believe in it as something much more than what the Battle Master of the Order had made it out to be. For those of you who have reached the end of this vault recording, I would like to say thank you for your continuing support of the creation of this channel and all of our vault recordings. If you enjoyed this explanation pulled from our Legends archives, reach out with the force and push that subscribe button, which will gain you access to all of our recordings both from our past as well as future uploads similar to this one. Be safe my friends in the force, and look out for one another. May the force be with you, always.